Organizing your tracks and setting cue points is the most important thing to do as a DJ. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set cue points in DJ Pro for the iPhone. This video is sponsored by Murika AI, amazing AI music generation software. And all of the tracks that I'm using in this tutorial were made in Murika AI. So check out the link down below to get started. So for this tutorial, we are going to take our phone and we are going to be in landscape mode, not portrait. And also this tutorial is going to be in pro mode, not classic mode. Uh, some of the stuff you can do in classic mode, it's a little bit harder to see. So I'm going to teach you in pro mode. So here we are in pro mode and it may look like there's no way to access the cue points, but we're going to have to press some buttons. So down here on the bottom right and the bottom left, there's kind of like a, looks like a mixer. It looks like uh, some volume faders. So we're going to press that. And now when you press that, it gives us access to all the amazing features in the software. The first one's Nero Mix. The second one is the one that we're going to be, and that is the one that we're going to use to set cue points. So for each track, you have up to eight cue points that you can select. So to add a cue point, let's find a good spot in our song. I hear you talk. I hear you talk. So right there where the song starts, a good tip is listen to the songs that you plan on putting in your playlist and find a place where you want to start your mixes and a good place to stop your mixes. If you're only going to set two cue points, I highly recommend you do that. So some songs have kind of a weird intro like this one. So it was... I don't really like to play the intro, so I am going to start this track here. So this track is going to start 10 seconds in. I hear you talking and you got your point of view. You think you know me? Think you got a clue. So that's where I'm going to start this track. And now at, when you press the cue point button, it's going to assign a random color. There's a bunch of colors you could choose. And it is going to title it with the time in the track. So this cue point was set 10 seconds in. So right now we have a red cue point and it is 10 seconds in. If we want to change that and customize it, which I recommend you do, we're going to press this pencil button over here, top right pencil button. Now we can edit our cue point. So we are going to press the drop down menu. And then here we have some options. We have a bunch of colors. So I recommend where I live in the United States, green means go, red means stop. So I'm going to set it as green and don't. So that's what I think green is. And then I'm just going to write start. So done. So now the cue point is in green and it says start. Now, the really cool thing is no matter which device you're using, if it's the phone, the iPad or the laptop with DJ Pro, you can connect to a controller. And if it has RGB pads, which a lot of the mid to high level controllers do, you will actually see this color green on your pads. So as soon as you load up the track, you know where you're going to start the track just by looking at the controller or just by looking at the waveforms in your software. So up here, we could see a green cue point. So that's good. So now let's find a spot in the track where is a good idea to mix out. Now, this is not set in stone. You could obviously mix in and out wherever, wherever you feel like. But it's good to have an idea so you could focus on other stuff while you're DJing instead of trying to find a place to mix out the track. I'm proud. This is my voice. I am who I am. So I think right there, I'm going to do it. I'm loud. I'm proud. This is my voice. I am. So that's our end cue point. So we're going to do the drop down menu again, put it in red, drop down menu, and then write end. I am who I am. So now, whenever you load up this track on this device in this software, you are going to have these cue points saved and ready to go. So I'm just going to inject the track. And then now I'm going to load it up again. And you see right there, our cue points are set. So that is how you set cue points in DJ Pro for the iPhone. Now, an, an, a setting that you might want to change is going to be here settings up here st uh, style i have it in high contrast 
if you put it in low contrast, which it might start you out, the cue points are going to be here a little bit harder to see. You could just see the arrow is red or green. So I would recommend changing that to high contrast. So that is how you change that setting. Another cue point, this is a temporary cue point and it's down here and you could see it no matter what feature you have, even if you have the jog wheels open. And what this cue point is going to do is wherever you put it, it's going to set a temporary cue point. So let's just say we'll put it right there. Find our beat right here. We're going to press set. And now you can go anywhere else in the track. And it'll bring you back there until you press set again and set another temporary cue point. Set another temporary cue point. And if you want to learn how to master this software for the iPhone, I've released my full beginner iPhone DJ course. So check out the link down below for that.